Hello. How you doing? Good. I have some goodies for you. That's so cool. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you okay. so, so much. So there's water, apples, fruit. That's quite Teresa Jane Snyder and drove a couple of hundred kilometers along the Trans-Canada Highway to help her newfound hero. Thank you. Nice. We'll catch up with you. Yeah, yeah, keep following us along on Facebook. Sure. I think it's just brilliant and I'm just inspired by him choosing Canada <laughs> to, to walk across. Yeah, you're beautiful. Thank you so, so much. Thank Love you. you. Love you too. <laughs> Come in, girl. This is the effect Michael Yellow Lees and his dog Luna have on people as they walk across Canada. They left British Columbia back in March, and thousands of kilometers later, and on his third pair of shoes, Michael is in Ontario. The walk itself has been amazing. You know, Canada is such a beautiful country in so many ways. You know, you're walking 40, 40, 50 kilometers every day. We're living on an adventure of a lifetime. Michael and Luna are walking across Canada to raise money for a charity called Trees for Life. So far, they've raised around $25,000. The money is to replant the forests in the highlands of Scotland, where Michael is from. So why is he in Canada? You've got wilderness here that we don't have in Scotland anymore. It's, we've lost over the last few hundred years. Um, so coming out and experiencing uh, your landscapes, your wilderness, you know, just the other night, I'm hearing wolves howling. And for me, that's like a bucket list moment. You know, that was, that was like spine tingling. Um, and something that I really hope that Scotland will have in the future. Oh, come on over, one sec. Michael says his journey is also about raising awareness about climate change. That's hit a chord with Canadians along the road like Darla Stewart. Yeah, how you doing? Very well. Do you need anything? <laughs> um, actually, some water would be lovely, actually. Some water so for you, the dog? Yeah, that would be gorgeous. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. You're an absolute star, Bella. How did you hear about this? I, this morning, was going through Facebook and seen a picture of somebody had a picture of you and they were coming through Mattawa. Okay. So they said you were headed this way, so I thought Mattawa by today should be here. Nice. So I thought, okay, we'll watch. Keep, keep an eye out for yes, me. Yes, we did. That's gorgeous. That's so cool. So you know where you're going tonight? Um, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to camp tonight. Uh, Michael can't stick around. He needs to keep going. But by stopping in, he's already made Darla's day. Very proud and very blessed that there are people out there that will do this and the courage for them to go out and do it. Lovely to meet you. <laughs> okay, girl, we're off. <laughs> okay, good girl, come on in, good girl. That's a good girl. A few hours later, another day is coming to an end. Michael says he didn't make it as far as he wanted to, but he and Luna are exhausted. And sometimes, on nights like this, they just crash any old place near the highway. There you go. There you go. You think of the giving up all the time. All, all the way across, you have moments of going, oh, I don't know if I can do this, you know, like, uh, especially early on when you have such a long road ahead of you. There's always these doubts and you dream about giving up. Luna, come here, girl. Hey, good girl. After a few hours rest, Michael and Luna are back on the road, committed to walking another 40 kilometers, one step at a time. So how are you doing? Yeah, we're doing not bad. We're getting there today, a little bit, little bit tired today. You've gone more than halfway now across Canada. We have, yeah, yeah. I think uh, something about 4,500 kilometers. So, you know, I guess the question is, how do you keep going? Like today you're tired, how do you keep going? You try and think of the simple things of it, you know, I'm literally just out taking my dog for a walk. Does she help to keep you going? Oh, absolutely, yeah, she's the one pulling us along. That's a good girl, isn't it? She's keeping me moving. Um, the, the mornings where I'm lying in bed, just sort of wanting to give up. She's the one looking me in the face and telling me, like, come on, let's get moving. Come then, girl. Luna may be Michael's secret weapon, but it's clear the Canadians he meets along the highway keep him going, too. Hey, man. Hey, guys, how's it going? How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, well, we brought you some stuff. We've seen you and your dog there, yeah, so. Legend, brother. We thought we'd bring you some stuff there, Guys, buddy. thank you so much. That's very, very appreciated. Yeah. Hey, brother, how's it going? Hey, how are you doing? 
<laughs> yeah, kid, mate, kid. You didn't need anything, eh? Well, we're doing pretty well, yeah. Like, yeah, people have been helping us out loads along the road, you know. I'll give you a ton. Nice. Because I've got army friends all along the way. Lovely, and lovely, lovely. as soon as I say, you know, I know you, and you'll have a place to stay. I love, I love Nancy Rose drove out to meet Michael and Luna. With the climate crisis, it's like we do need to actually grab it and hold it as our own problem. Like, we can blame the government, we can blame whoever. But until we start sort of going, okay, well, we need to change this. That's right. And doing stuff. As they talk, I realize the impact Michael's message has on some people along the highway. Thank you very much. It's like clean energy. I feel your energy. It's beautiful. I think when you have a good cause, something that speaks to our human nature, to our hearts, to our, our roots, it can't help but bring people together. And I think nature is, is a matter of the heart. And someone like Michael can bring all of these people together, no matter what side they're on. Lots of love to you, okay. Take care. Uh, speak soon. Lots, Lots of love. love. Convincing people that something needs to be done about climate change is a big part of Michael's journey, because he knows that walking and raising money isn't enough. Watch the wind on your kill. <laughs> We've got a long road ahead of us to fix things and get things back in balance. We can't give up. This is the future of the planet, of ourselves, you know, that so we can't give up. Nick Purden, CBC News, along the Trans-Canada Highway.